Hey folks, hope you're well. I'm full of regret today and you can probably see why. I was uh, getting up the other day, getting ready on, I think it was Saturday. And this is gonna sound a little bit weird, but hopefully sweet as well. Claire was getting ready and I thought, oh, she's so tidy and so pretty and so like clean and, you know, well groomed. And she's married to this lump who's just got this ugly beard that looks like I've been cast away for 15 years and that I've just never seen another human being and I just live in a dark room or something. So I went in the, in the bathroom, got the razor out and I thought, normally I shave a seven, I'll go down a little bit. I shaved a bit and thought, I'm gonna go down to three. I shaved it all and I looked in the mirror and just thought, why did I do that? And I opened the door and I said to Claire, what do you think of my beard? And she just went, it looks good. <laughs> and I was like, well that, 20 second pause where your eyes just got wider and wider and wider doesn't fill me with confidence so i asked ollie his thoughts and he just kind of went yeah it's good and i thought yeah shouldn't have done it shouldn't have done it emily was a bit more positive but i think she's got the art of just saying yep cool down to a t ben had no opinion he just looked at me and ran off so well that's probably an opinion in itself but every time i see myself now i'm like oh i look ridiculous it makes me look too young um it's not good i need all the hair i can get really so i'm not doing that again it makes my face look well round i was on a zoom meeting earlier and i could just see the double chins and just thought you know with the beard it's like i know they're there but you're like, oh, no, that could just be an extra two inches of hair. It could, it could just not be a chin. Everyone knows it's a chin. I'm, I'm not kidding anybody. But, um, yeah, I'm full of regret. And it doesn't look right. When I went on uh, the meetings with my colleagues today, the first thing someone said was, oh, you, you, know, you look different. She, she, she was like, I was kind of taken aback by a second, but I'm digging it. And, you know, maybe they weren't her exact words. I don't know. She'd never say I'm digging it. But, yeah, they were like, positive, but I, I'm not keen. I wish I'd... I might get a fake beard and just wear it. I might get a Santa outfit and just wear the beard and uh, just no one will be a little wiser. Um, it does mean that I could probably get away with pretending I'm just some rando wandering around. The neighbours will be calling and saying that uh, someone's visiting who shouldn't be here. There's a man at, at that house that doesn't live there normally. Get the police round and all of this. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they did do that because my neighbours are well annoying. And segueing like a genius here, I almost, I've been this close to calling the uh, the PCSO on them saying, this is wrong, I'm not going to do this, so this isn't an admission of guilt and this can't be using evidence against me, damn it. But my neighbours have been an absolute nightmare for the past couple of weeks with their music blaring out at a million decibels. It has been so frustrating. And yesterday, it was just driving us mad. I mean, it's been bothering Ollie all week. Like I mentioned in the past, he actually started shouting over the fence at them at one point because he was so fed up. It's been bothering me, but I've been kind of just ignoring it or mentioning it on here and venting about it. But yesterday, I was feeling a little bit fragile. You know, I'd lost my beard. I wasn't feeling myself. And I was just getting sick of it. And first things first, I thought, well, do I go around here and say something? But I thought there's no way to say it without coming across as rude. There's literally no polite way to say, can you turn your music down? Because they're just going to think I'm being annoying. They're going to say, your kids are noisy. We All we hear is you shouting or whatever, singing along to music, whatever it is. Not me personally, the family, I mean. Um, you know, we're, we're drowning you out or something like that. That would be the thing I would say if it was the other way around. So I just thought I can't do it. Um, I spent about 20 minutes looking for speakers for the garden so that I could just beat them at their own game, put our music as loud as theirs. Uh, Claire had had the same idea. We should just not drown it out to annoy them, but drown it out because then we'd have our own music on. And if we can't hear their music over our own music, that's great. But we agreed that actually, A, that's just adding to the problem. B, our neighbours, the other side, will start hating on us and they'll probably buy a speaker and then we'll just be in this war of speakers where every house on the street gets a speaker to drown the other one out. And uh, yeah, C, I just wanted peace and quiet. The problem was I wanted to sit in some quietness, not silence, I'm not unreasonable, but I just wanted to be able to sit outside without having to listen to Wham! and other random terrible music from the uh what 80s i don't even know it was just annoying um 
you know, not to say those those artists aren't aren't they have a, a place, a time and a place. It just wasn't Sunday in my garden. So yeah, I was getting very fed up. Um, I even went on the deeping group, and someone had been moaning about neighbours and how their neighbours keep having parties and having people around. And the, this is the bit that I was talking about not incriminating myself. I was this close to suggesting to Claire that we just tell the PCSO that they've had people around for a party. Oh, the music's so loud, officer. They must be having parties. But I thought, no, that's wasting time. And also, that's just a sledgehammer to a walnut. Um, but I was thinking they could have then gone round and gone, well, we haven't got anyone here. And then they could have said, keep your music down. And it would have solved the problem. Because they won't come out for just a noise. I've looked this up. They wouldn't come out for, oh, their music's noisy. They are breaking the environmental peace laws or whatever it is of the council and all of this. But no one would come out. I'd have to log it in a bloody diary and faff around with it. So that's why I, I thought the nuclear option might be in my back pocket. But I just don't think it's worth doing. It wastes too many people's time in a time when they're probably quite stretched anyway. Um, so, yeah, I ended up responding to the discussion in the deeping group saying... Uh, my neighbours have got really loud music and all of this, and it's just driving us all mad. And like not addressing who it was, no one in the knows where I live, but just mentioning it in the in the subtle hope they might see it and think, "Oh, he's talking about us." I feel really bad. Um, what was really funny was I told Claire I'd done it, and then the music went off. I told Claire in the house, and then the music went off, and I thought I'd won. I went and sat in the garden in absolute bliss, just lay there having some sunshine in silence and just thought this is amazing. And then it turned out they'd just gone for a run. They came back like 20, 25 minutes later and turned the music on again. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it hasn't been out there today, actually. So maybe they got fed up. I did also sit there with my phone out trying to log on to the Bluetooth of their devices so I could change the track or turn it off. But it kept failing, which was a shame because that would have been the best answer ever. That like they come up on the Bluetooth as an option. And I just thought, oh, if I could have pressed that, taken over, switched it to something else, job done, they just took the hint. I could have just turned it off, whatever it was. I could have just made them think it was broken, solved the problem. I do think if it comes to it, we might go for the big speaker just for ourselves, for our own sanity, because our ones all sound really tinny if we do it from the house or, the, or from our dock that we've got. But um, yeah, they're just driving me nuts. And I feel like because we've had to have a chat with him about paying for the fence, I had to chat with him about uh, the like a piece of land in our front garden that they thought was theirs. And uh, we've had to chat with him about lots of different random things like that, picking up packages. They've refused to take, like I think Amazon delivered like four packages and they refused to take them because four is far too many. And it was like, oh, shut up. You know, it was like, week before Christmas and we had to faff around going and pick them up because they didn't want to take them when we take packages for them all the time um we just I don't think we don't I don't think we're like enemies I have no ill will towards them other than their music but I feel like we're not we don't get on and it's just a bit awkward to be fighting over this and that's just how I don't really want to acknowledge it so um yeah that's been frustrating and um, weekend otherwise has been pretty good i had uh there's a pokemon community day on saturday ollie and i were playing that um he he, he bless him was really excited convinced me to spend money on buying him a ticket for their event it's only like a quid got i literally got the ticket come down with the phone for him and he was on the switch and was like oh, i'll go on it later i'm playing the switch and after about an hour i was like ollie you can't just play on the Switch all day when I've just spent money on this ticket for you that you were excited about an hour ago. And obviously the money wasn't the issue, it was the principal. So then he was like, well, you play it for me. And I said, I'm not sat here playing both of them. I, you know, I feel like a rat plum. So I convinced him to play it. Um, he enjoyed it. He caught his shinies. He got what he wanted out of it. He completed it, whatever. Um, I sat there. Once I'd caught mine, I sat there just with my button on, just pressing that throughout the day while I did other things. But that was quite a nice chilled out day. Um, I quite liked how they did it. I feel like um, after the whole COVID thing ends, they're going to have to carry on doing community days like that. Your, your buddy brings you like 50 balls at a time. You, you know, I had a mission to do. Caught lots of shinies from a house. I had unlimited incense, which I doubt they'd ever do because, you know, they want money. I get that. But um, yeah, if they gave us all of those things for the sake of me spending sort of three quid every time and that was the community day experience, um, I'd probably spend it. I'd probably go to a fiver even. But yeah, it was quite fun. We had a good time and we didn't even have to leave the house, which is nice. Normally I'm dragging Claire around Peterborough, doing her head in. Um, you know, we end up just kind of, I end up allowing us to go to certain shops because I know I get signal in there and there's enough poker stops about and stuff like that. So you always end up in Primark, John Lewis and Boots because they're quite good points. And I drag everyone to Greg's for lunch because 
just says three poker stops at Greg's. Um, I don't know whether they know that I'm kind of making that what we do. I don't. I, I don't outwardly say it. I just make sure that's where we have lunch and stuff like that. But everyone rolls with it. It's good. It's our tradition. It's all nice. Um, I'm trying to think. I, there's one more thing I've been doing, um, which is it's our 11 year anniversary on Saturday. Claire and I, and uh, well, it wouldn't be anyone else. And um, I'm desperately trying to think of, I had an idea of something to get her. And I think I've had this problem before. I forgot what my idea was. So um, what I've done is I've got her a card, bought her some flowers. Um, I'm trying to get her some Malibu because nowhere has Malibu. And she really likes it and she's not had it in a while. And every time she mentions it, she goes to check and it's not in stock. And I can't find it in stock anywhere either. So that's gone. I bought some gin for both of us anyway, but that would be a right cop out if I gave her that because she knows that I, we both drink that. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to think. It's an our steel anniversary, so I might just get her a cutlery set. <laughs> Last year, I think it was tin, and I got her a tin rose and then like other random gifts, but a tin rose to say it was tin. Um, I realised that the, to, today that they do steel roses, and I could have got her a copper one three years ago or two years ago, whatever. And um, I really wish I'd kept track of that because if I'd have known that was a thing, I could have got her a different material rose from paper up to steel every year. She'd have had a bouquet, a bouquet of 11 roses, and then I could have carried it on until like we were 70 and I was getting a one made of diamond and all of this. But I'm 11 years in now, the idea's kaput. I can't really start now, that'd be stupid. Um, I mean, I could start now, but I'm not going to start now. And then I'm going to still crucify myself for not having any ideas. But um, I may end up doing that. But yeah, it seems quite cool. If you're recently married, about to get married or whatever, that is an idea you can take to the bank. And um, you'd have to get other stuff as well. Still get you know, chocolate flowers and stuff like that um i think i felt really guilty as well because i was going to get chocolates and then the flowers came with them and i was like result but i don't know it's just been easter as well it's the, the, getting married at this time of year was a bad idea i can never get chocolate because of it um anyway I'm waffling so yeah i don't know what i said to her what do you want to do and she was like we're in lockdown <laughs> i was like well, yeah but we can figure something out um we did a quiz on sunday with a brother he asked random questions i feel like i've never done quizzes over zoom at home in my life and then since this lockdown i have done four quizzes i came like fourth second from last and second from last in the past three of my friends and then i won the one that my brother-in-law did so i was quite excited by that and he said we should do another one on saturday and i said that's our anniversary and everyone including claire went we're not going out, are we? <laughs> You're not going out, are you? And I was just like, I feel like that should be some. We should do something. We'll probably get a takeaway and like watch a film and do a quiz now. But um, I don't know. I just feel like we. I said to Claire, I, I would almost rather cook just so I felt like I'd done something uh, to put the effort in. But uh, she has no idea what she wants and she'll probably end up wanting a takeaway because I get really wound up when I'm not angry, but like stressed and She'll be sitting there just enjoying the food and I'll be going, it's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah, should I throw it in the bin? Should we order a takeaway? Should I just... She's like, it's absolutely fine. And I'm like, nah, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Let's get rid of it. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit unconfident in my ability to cook a meal, um, which I think drives her more mad because it's it's not a, it's not a, it's not my excuse for not doing it. But I think we both know that I just end up being like, oh, this is terrible if I do. So we avoid me doing it that often. Um, I should just learn, I should just grow a pair and be more confident. Um, so yeah, other than that, I have done very, very little else, as I imagine everybody else has. I've been trying to find an excuse all weekend to watch the Aristocats because I had two of the songs from that stuck in my head and I finally, this afternoon, Claire went for a run and I put it on. Um, I tried to get Ben and Ollie to watch it and Ollie just ran out the door the moment it started which was a bit odd. He came back when he heard one of the songs and he, he watched like the last half an hour of it. It turns out he was just waiting for Minecraft to start. Uh, he wanted to play that straight after. Um, ben had the same kind of reaction of, I'm not watching this. And then he kind of came and sat with me and then they started singing and he enjoyed it. Um, but I feel like I've cured getting those songs out of my head. It's very weird. It's probably more weird for Emily hearing her dad just bellowing out everybody wants to be a cat um at the top of his voice around the house i think she's probably used to it it's been 11 years but i don't know i was just i just couldn't stop singing it and it, i just thought i have to cure this by getting the song out of my head this is probably why the neighbors play their music so loud i bring it on myself 
I need to learn. Um, so anyway, sorry about the beard. I know it's horrible. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry that I shared this with you. I was considered just not vlogging and saying I'll be back in six weeks and not explaining why and just letting you all assume that something's happened. But I thought, no, I've got to face up to my mistakes. It's horrendous. I just look really weird and uh, it won't happen again, I promise you. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched all this way, despite the beard, thank you and well done. Um, hope you're all well. Let me know how your weekend's gone in the comments. If you've not subscribed, do it. As I mentioned before, I'm trying to aim to grow. Um, feedback for video topics because you might have noticed this is probably a bit thin, but... Yeah, I'm trying to think of stuff to talk about. It's really hard in lockdown, and uh, I know I said I'd do a Q&A, but I don't actually know how to set that up and go about it, so that's something I'm going to have to figure out. Um, other ideas, welcome. And I did promise the kids we'd do some videos at some point, but we've just never got around to it, and I don't really know what they want to do. Um, but yeah, hope you're all well. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.